I uh, listened to three hours of uh, information on, on quantum theory, quantum mechanics, uh, and quantum physics. Well, you keep repeatedly about every 25 minutes hitting about a uh, at least a tenth. And I am a sole believer of if you're going to do it, you might as well um, ingest a, at least a tenth because you definitely don't want a little bit go there. I mean, um, that's where this comes into the realm of uh, the only way I can explain it is uh, uh, tribal shield shape shifting. I would explain it as uh, where. When you are looking at this reality, and you are in that one, you have one foot in each, in many dimensions, but I'll just give it two so it doesn't get too far off here. But everyone and everything around you is, uh, I say tribal, but I, I mean it as like um, alien tribal too, like, like different tribes, different, not human. Uh, um, everybody, uh, the only way to explain it is everybody looked like I say this could be the conscious mind of uh, breaking into something that's a little more familiar because people say they have the guides, but I don't believe if you uh, perceive a guide taking you through this, then that's something you're viewing as a form to show you this and that is the major thing about DMT. It really brings you back into the notionness of the you are and the you are formless. You you're limitless, you you never die, you've never been born, you've always been and you always will. So before I go on laying in suits, don't worry about life. Just don't fear. Don't listen to the TV and all that and worry about that because you have much more to do is to put love into this world in any way you can by giving a stranger a smile or whatnot. So I'll get on the shields here. All right. Mm. It goes on like, uh, ooh, this is going to be a hot one to explain. I mean, if you're wearing like, uh, uh, Half alien, uh, half elder of a tribe with a beard like this coming down, but you have like, um, uh, 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 like not tattoos, but at the same time they were inlaid gems and crystals in in your form. Uh, they were just such a complex um, being and so elaborate on their texture and structure and content of them that uh it's it, it that that's just amazing that that's it, that's very uh hard to attain off just smoking dmt uh it is more readily attained through drinking the brew uh ayahuasca which is a uh, uh has uh dimethyltryptamine in it and it has a, a much longer effect, not as high of a peak, but um, definitely not high as a peak, especially if you really get down on some good and you can go. And at the same time, if you're doing it to get high or just to go, then you can get very schooled with the same way. Um, I mean, Definitely, uh, yeah, you can get schooled. I, uh, uh, last time I got schooled, actually, I thought a friend of mine uh, had kicked me some some orange, and, and actually it was the uh, it was white. It was a five, and you know I I threw a bunch on. Thought it was gonna be cool. This big crystal it was a uh, chilling, and you know I hit it and lay back with some music and woke up and. My room was torn apart, the rug was in the middle of the floor, and the like ripples and waves, that, that 45-pound uh, Canadian quartz cluster from uh, Quebec, 
with over a thousand terminations was on the ground. Didn't break, but luckily, but uh, I mean, and that's that's the thing about uh, the five. You really, it's really hard to retain or regain or bring back uh, useful information that you can pass on through that you can even describe to people or may pass on through uh, art uh, or music and that's the way I uh, try to get across to my experiences with it is with uh, this is some of my jewelry here if you would like to check it out it is a www.sacredgeometryco.com so I'm not plugging that you know uh, but uh, you can hear uh, more of my work that is uh, actually called The Next Level in Sound. And it is um, uh, sound information uh, to raise your body to the vibration of, of what a, you know, a uh, dimethyltryptamine experience uh, would be like. So, um, right now we're getting a shield real quick about, um, going on. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll save that for another time. Actually, that was good. I think I got across what I needed to. I just like to say as a disclosure, NNDMT and uh, the white 5 methoxa. They are both illegal. They are both a controlled substance. I do not suggest or, or even, you know, encourage anybody to use them unless they are of a, the right state of mind to be aware of in the right circumstance. It takes the right place. Um, you know, most of the time you probably need someone there your first time because your astonishment, if you do it right, is going to be so amazing. And that's my whole big thing on the. And it's probably a big controversy with a lot of other people that uh, that um, uh, like to uh, or smoke uh, DMT and, and DMT in the form of. Uh, I, I really believe that. Uh, there, there really is nothing that makes you feel so much love and so much realness as a good, like, two-tenth blast. I mean, if you can take the third hit and blow it out and put the pipe down, man... Yeah, I'd like to explain it, but there's like, there's no way to explain something like that. I mean, so, uh, I'm going to let you go right now. This is uh, Seed 7. It is now uh, 5.16, uh, 5.17 maybe? 5.17-2010. I'd like to thank you all for listening in. In, uh, uh taking the time to uh, hear my views on on uh, the use of uh, DMT and, uh, and my views on what I think it, it really has the capability of doing. So, to everyone out there, blessings and love, namaste, universal oneness.